So you want to put one of these on your bike? This video I'll show you how. Check this out. What's going on guys? Weather's a little bit doom and gloomy but oh well. So I just wanted to make a quick video in case you like the look of that headlight grill. I know you see millions of these things on sporties but not on too many diners so when I was doing my research I thought oh, I'll have a quick search on YouTube see you know what do you got to do to fit one of these bad boys and um, all I could find is sporty 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 so I thought oh well I'm just going to do it and see what happens and there was a couple of differences between what you got to do to fit one to a sporty and to a diner so so here's a few tips if you fit one of these to a diner. So we'll cut back to the shed. What do you reckon about this? How do you reckon that's going to look a little bit fucking Mad Max-ish? Advantages of having a tank lift. That is the headlight plug. So all you have to do is unplug it and pull it through you don't have to take your tank off if you're working on a diner put one of these headlight grills in so that's a bit of a bonus less work we like that so then pretty much all you got to do guys is undo that so you can slip that um that ring this ring over the back of the headlight and screw the grill part onto it and job done so let's do that and then you've um, unplugged the headlight undone that slide the ring over the top put your headlight back in and screw the grill on and you're fucking done so it is that easy it's literally a five minute job don't even know whether I'm going to post this video online or not. The only reason I will is there's not one for doing it on a diner. All the sporty guys say you need to remove your fuel tank, but on a diner you don't. It's underneath that plastic cover up in there, guys. That's, that's your headlight plug there. So it is a piece of piss. It will take you one beer to do this job. So, it's hardly worth a thumbs up, but if you're going to do it, you might appreciate the video. So, come on, give it a thumbs up. But, um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished anyway. So, give me 27 seconds. Cue Spongebob. 3,000 years later. And, well, there you go. Finished product. I like it. Looks pretty good. Let me know what you reckon in the comments, guys. Would you run one on your bike? Or you think are they just for sporties? Or can diners pull them off? All right, guys. I'll leave the video here. No need to drag this one on. Very simple install. You don't even need a stubble if you're talking Revzilla. Beard difficulty fucking thing. So, so there you go, guys. Nothing too tricky there. Um not going to be a long video i just thought if anyone is going to do this to a diner they might find this useful so there you go if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if i haven't got one out of you already hit that subscribe button and i will catch you later eh? see ya